Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back and this week I just want to show you my three-year-old's work shelf for work shelf Wednesday L is for love lady leaves Lion lobsters letters laces and anything that begins with an L so if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> So starting off this week, I have L is for love here at the top, but honestly, there are so many things that L can start with. And being that Valentine's Day is coming up, I just decided to do L is for love since that's just the closest thing um, to the nearest holiday. A lot of the activities have to do with hearts and love and things of that nature, but I also picked out a few other books that have other things that begin with the letter L. So as always, his daily learning notebook has been updated with the letter L and other L activities. Um, I have a book here called Animal Alphabet Stories, and we're going to read the story about the lobster for the letter L that's in this book. I also have this sight word reader about leaves, so I picked that out from our collection. And I picked out this book, which is a favorite of all my kids. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly, so L is for lady. So we're going to read about the adventures of the lady who swallowed the fly. So this first activity is a simple counting activity. This is using an um, ice tray. It's one of those ice trays that make the water bottle ices, the long cylindrical ices. And what I did was I numbered them one through 10 for each section. And then I have hearts here. So he would just simply place the amount of hearts in each section. And what's great is that I have exactly the right amount of hearts that he can fill each one of these all the way up with the number that is um, written on the inside and this is just good for counting for one-to-one -one correspondence and just for for number sequencing we started this activity today and he absolutely loved it pretty much it's a water transferring activity using this eyedropper and in this container is some water so what he did today was he simply just transferred the water into each section and he filled them up and as he was filling them up I was trying to get him to fill them up in numerical order so I would have him look for okay which heart has the number one fill up the number one heart fill up the number two heart three heart so it's good for um, the water transferring the fine motor skills of learning how to pinch the eyedropper and to make it work and also just so that he can review his numbers in order as well. Very simple, very classic, hands-on lacing. Um, I got these lacing um, shoe patterns from my friend Ivana. Hi Ivana. Um, her channel is Homeschool Blessings and these are just great for fine motor skills so the child can learn how to um, use his pincer grasp to help him guide these shoelaces through the holes. So for him, it's just really just a fun activity to sit down and do this. Something he can do independently. So when I'm working with his brothers, he will sit here and attempt to lace the shoes. This is a cute little activity that I was inspired by seeing a video on YouTube. I will link that video in the description box below. But pretty much she had made these little letters out of just paper. And pretty much you just make it look like, and put up pieces of paper and make them look like envelopes. On that video, the activity was just a fine motor sort. But for this, I took it to the next level since my son is three and he'll be alphabetizing his ABC love letters. So I have it set up originally so he can see how it goes and then we will take all the letters out and he will arrange them. I have this one section container from the Dollar Tree which is a um, drawer organizer or a drawer divider. Uh, that's pretty much what it's used for for the most part but these fit these little love letters perfectly and he can do letters A through R in this so what he would do is I would take all the letters out put them in his love letters and we will go through and he will look for each one in alphabetical order and he will sort and categorize his little love letters and I thought this was just a cute cute idea this file folder I made last year for my son who's now four years old and it's really cute because it kind of has like a more masculine spin on on Valentine's because it's a transportation Valentine's um, uh, activity that this file folder game is pretty much a number of 
activity sheets that I found and I just printed them off and then glued them to a file folder and laminated all the pieces and laminated the folder and made a file folder game with velcro dots and it's really cute so the first thing is you find the truck bike and car and I have those bigger pieces on the back you will find the truck the bike and the car take these pieces off the back and he would match up truck bike and car then what he would do is now he would have a Valentine's sort. He will sort all the vehicles that are facing left and all the vehicles that are facing right. So he's learning right and left with this. So um, he will sort them under here. There's four for each category. Then there's a pattern section where he has to finish the pattern and the little pieces are down here for him to finish each pattern with and then on the back he would go over here and he would simply match these up so he would place them on top of the correct picture so bicycle to bicycle truck to truck so on and so forth so this is a cute little activity for a more masculine spin on valentine's day To tie in the L is for leaves, I have these foam leaf stickers that I had left over from our fall um, letter F shelf work um, unit. And here I have a die that he can just roll and whatever number it, st it falls on, he would go ahead and use the tweezers and pick up that many leaves and just put them in this little ice cube tray here so it's again another number recognition and fine motor skills practice and um just really simply another way to tie in l is for leaf. i have a logic and patterning activity here i really just made these pattern strips myself of course just with markers and with crayons and i had these little foam glittery stickers from last year that i saved in my manipulatives and simply what he would do is he would recreate the pattern so this is pattern number one big red big red heart big pink heart big red heart big pink heart and there are small and large hearts that are pink or red here so he would find the red and he would find the big pinks and he would just simply complete the pattern that way. And then um, he would move on to the next one. So there are small hearts in here that are about this size and the large hearts in both pink and red and he would match up and find um, the ones that complete the patterns that are in each of these pattern strips. So for this activity, this is just a number ordering, um, number sequencing activity with hearts, numbers 1 through 12. I have hearts and I have clothespins and I have additional um, clothespins up here because what he's going to do is string them on his little clothing line. Let me so see. next to his shelf on the sliding glass door, I simply put some yarn here and I made two little rows of, um, of, of lines so that he can sh hang up his little hearts with the clothespins in numerical order and he had lots of fun doing that today great for fine motor skills because he's going to have to pinch the clothespins to get them on and also just great for number recognition and just ordering numbers and last but not least, I made these letter L animals, monster story inspired two part cards last year for my child who is now four years old, but I'm using it for my three year old now. And what we'll do is we'll just go through the stack of the animals and the um, names of the animals and match them up. And what I'll do is I'll go through with him and I'll say, this is a lemming, lemming, and so on and so forth for each one. And hopefully by the end of this week, he'll be able to identify and match up the animal picture to the animal, um, the animal's name. So this is just a little introduction to him being familiar with just recognizing the way that things are spelt and just to introduce him to a little science so that he can see the names of a variety of animals that begin with the letter L. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this L is for the love, leaves, lady, um, and a variety of different things unit. Uh, definitely drop any comments in the comment box below if you have any comments or if you are looking for anything that you found um, that I've shown you on this video. Again, I wanted to show you handmade items that you can do or things that you can find at the Dollar Tree or around your home that you can use to make um, shelf work activities so that you can give your printer a break and that you can just get a little bit more creative for your kids. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Until next week, bye.